for your power we are grateful for your presence even for the wonderful time we've had in your presence tonight lord we are grateful and we thank you for all the wonderful things you have done thank you for your great mercy you have shown towards us lord you have preserved us thank you for your compassion thank you for your grace my prayer is that lord speak to us empower us lord motivate us revive us jesus change our way of life change our way of thinking let the entrance of your word bring light let the word we are going to hear bring transformation and illumination let us be empowered let our minds be educated let our hearts be reshaped so that we will walk and please you become kingdom uh, ambassadors in jesus name lord use us to be a blessing to all of us who are watching and those who watch later we thank you in jesus name amen the lord bless you for today uh, we are grateful to god for this gift of life it's been god's mercy and grace that we still alive today uh, today is the third week of our series which we have been discussing on the characteristics of an excellent Christian. We are using the fellowship of excellence to activate the supernatural experience. And so let's turn our Bibles to our text from Philippians chapter 1 verse eight, Philippians chapter 2 verses 1 to 11. Philippians chapter 2 
from verses 1 to 11 it says therefore if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ if any comfort from his love if any common sharing in the spirit if any tenderness and compassion then make my joy complete by being like-minded having the same love being one in spirit and of one mind do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit rather in humility value others above yourselves not looking to your own interests but each of you to the interests of others in your relationship with one another have the same mindset as Christ Jesus who being in very nature God did not consider equality with God something to be used to his advantage rather he made himself nothing by becoming the very nature of a servant being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death even death on the cross therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue acknowledged that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father we said that in our series that uh, one's attitude reveal what is in one's mind and so what one does is a reflection of what that person is thinking so we said that for example if you saw someone who is always wearing military gears uniform having military cap and all those things and he is not a military man it is an indication that he has the ambition to be joining the forces or he had the ambition but he could not get the chance to be enrolled so it see you see it in his actions and so we say that as christians also whatever we have in our mind should be reflective or should be seen in our way of life as christians our characteristics the things we exhibit speak volumes of what we are and what we stand for the things we do represent our value system if a christian is not excellent it tells you that what is in your mind is not a mind ready to excel so whatever people see speak to what is in our mindset also we say that as christians our attitude must be one of excellence people should see us and see excellence by so doing they will know that we are people who have the attitude of becoming excellent we have been born again we have been saved to demonstrate excellence so we said every christian must demonstrate the character or the characteristics of excellence you know paul was using philippians chapter 2 as an example of excellence demonstrated by christ jesus paul you know when he started writing philippians chapter 2 was talking about how the christians in philippi or the uh, philippian christians should live together with one another in unity have a communion with one another and so he said that in your fellowship with your friends you should have the same attitude as it was in christ jesus you should have the same mind as it was in christ jesus what was the mind that was in christ jesus the mind that was in christ jesus is what we have been discussing since three weeks ago so we're looking at what paul saw in the character of christ jesus is that he wanted the philippian christians to learn we said that jesus was an epitome or an example of excellence everything he did he excelled he didn't miss one bit and so as christians we also must live an excellent life and jesus christ is our number one example so we said that we're studying this passage using jesus christ as our example to learn the characteristics of an excellent christian and so from the passage we saw that one of the characteristics of an excellent christian is that 
an excellent Christian serves even though by his position or nature he is not required he is not duty bound to do it but because of his status as a Christian because of his personality as a child of God he must put on the attitude of servant so that he can become excellent in his assignment you know we read from verses 5 to 8 of the passage that Paul said in your relationship with one another have the same mindset as Christ Jesus who being in very nature God did not consider equality with God something to be used to his advantage rather he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death even death on the cross you know so we say that as a christian you should develop or have that attitude of service you should become a servant you should serve others even though you are not duty bound to become a servant you by your position you are not required to serve you are so high maybe because of your workplace or your status or whatever it does not require you to come down to serve but the example of an excellent christian who is in the form of christ jesus is that he himself being in the very nature god did not consider it robbery or did not use it to his advantage rather he took on the form of man and came down to serve so jesus christ became our example of excellence so that we could see the characteristics of service in jesus christ because if the christian wants to become excellent he must or the christian who lives an excellent life must develop the characteristics of service this is what defines an excellent christian if you are not able to look at your position and drop that position and come down to serve you are not an excellent christian every excellent christian is one who has that heart of service who says that yes i am my boss in my own right but for the sake of the kingdom i would serve jesus on the night he was betrayed wash the feet of the disciples he gathered himself with a, with a towel and then wash the feet of the disciples peter said i don't decide you know if i won't allow you to wash my feet and jesus said suffer it to be done and he said okay then not only my feet my whole body what peter was trying to say was that jesus being the master did not have to wash their feet but the attitude the characteristics of an excellent person is such that he does not look to his position but he comes down to serve even the lowest of all people the scripture says that jesus christ who left his position as god who being in the very nature god did not consider equality with god something that he could have used to his advantage but rather he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant being made in human likeness you see he says that he did not he did not use his position or his nature as god to his advantage rather you know it is the the the, the, the word rather is used here as an opposition or the opposite of what jesus was jesus was 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 god he was by nature god but how what is the relationship between god and 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 then human being the the nature of god and then the nature of a human being but jesus christ who was in the nature god was the direct opposite of what should what humanity was but he took the nature of a human being and then became a servant to us so we said that excellent christians demonstrate the characteristics of service because they put their reputation somewhere just to serve others they put their stature somewhere 
just to serve others that position which makes them who they are when it comes to the service of god when it comes to the kingdom matters that reputation does not matter so i don't know what reputation you have i don't know which position you have that is higher than the nature jesus christ had that is god in that nature jesus christ still came down and assumed the form of a human being the the form of man and became a servant to us then you and i have no uh, excuse not to serve christ jesus is our excellent example today we want to continue with our series you know still talking about the characteristics of an excellent christian we're saying that the characteristics of an excellent one characteristic of an excellent christian is that he is a person who serves though he is not duty bound because he is putting his reputation somewhere just to serve others now today we want to say that the attitude of service is a characteristic of an excellent christian because it makes possible for the achievement of one's purpose your characteristics of service would make you achieve your purpose and your aim in life child of god there are certain times in your life if you don't get involved and do it yourself your vision will not be achieved if you think that you have delegated people if you think that by your stature you cannot come down to do the work you will live you will stay up there and live in disappointment because your work will not be done but if you can come down and join the workforce and serve you would get excellence you would achieve your purpose if you don't get involved with what is done and you think that i am the boss i am i i, I mean i i am the head i am also so and so i am all that you will be disappointed at the end of the day the work will not be done but if you can get involved and serve you would achieve your purpose and your target you know let's read verse 8 of our passage it says and being found in appearance as a man he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death even death on the cross now excellence always produces the desired result through service this we must not forget excellence would always pro produce the desired result through service when we become arrogant to serve it will become difficult for us to achieve our purpose you know this is because sometimes the nature of the work is such that you get yourself involved in order to achieve your target or to get the work done you know the reason is that if the christian who wants to become excellent fail to commit himself to the work that is to be done or he fails to serve success will elude him you know i have come to realize that if people don't serve they will never achieve their targets when you think that somebody must do it you are the boss you you cannot get involved because it is too mean a job for you your target you may not reach it you may not get it and you will cannot be successful you know jesus's aim was to come and save humanity was to save mankind from the judgment and the wrath of god it was such a difficult task that when god said who will go for my people nobody wanted to go but jesus examined the work and, and and the difficulty the work was and said i am willing to go i i god in the form of the of, of the second person in the trinity i am willing to go do the work i mean god could have declared salvation for mankind that from today all men are saved god could have done that but jesus christ or god wanted his own to come and assume the nature of man to feel our problems to feel our challenges 
to feel our weaknesses to see what is wrong with this body such that it becomes difficult for us to obey him what is wrong with us as humans that we we don't obey the word of god we don't obey the instruction god gives us so jesus christ wanted or god wanted to come down in his person as god to experience this humanity and see what is the problem and through that he would overcome it and make salvation available to us it was a very difficult task i mean divinity coming into humanity very very difficult even on this land or on earth i have seen situations where 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 where, where leaders highly placed find it difficult to even go into the to their constituents and have interactions with their constituent i have seen where chiefs you know would not allow their children to mingle with so-called common people because they think that their children or they themselves are so highly placed that they cannot come down but the lord god the god of heaven and earth divine divine god in his divinity laid down that position and came to assume a such mean form nature as this human vessel how would god who has the power to do everything limit himself and confine himself into this human container and endure the problems and endure the dictate and the control of humanity it takes a god who has decided to serve to be able to do this if you also have that attitude that characterizes of serving it will not be difficult for you to come down from your office to come down from your nature to come down from your so-called position down to assume the position of that servant to serve humanity in this COVID-19 outbreak look at how people are scared even of those who have been who have recovered but Jesus Christ is telling us that not only me but for the sake of others so he left his position his divine nature and came down to assume the position of a servant if you and I can be excellent Christian we should develop the attitude of service by 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 putting our reputation aside and going down to serve humanity no position is too high no position is too low for that excellent Christian an excellent Christian does not divine does not define positions as high or low they are all equal and we are all the same he comes down to serve irrespective of his position I mean Jesus being God inhabiting in this earthly or bodily container and then the body says go and sleep you are tired and he must sleep the body says you are hungry go and eat and he must obey because he has assumed the form of a man being controlled and dictated to by this human body how can a god who is the creator of this creation but creation is dictating to the creator it takes a god who is desired or who wishes to serve to be able to limit and confine himself in this matter my prayer is that you and i would develop this attitude of excellence you know in most cases i've come to find out that when we are drowning in difficult situation the first thing we do is to call people we know who can help us out of our problem for example maybe you were driving on the highway and then um the police accosted you for over speeding or reckless driving in ghana here what we do the first thing you that comes to mind is to call a senior officer you know or to call somebody you know who knows a senior officer who can get you out of it or for example uh, you got yourself into the web of the of the law what we do is that the first thing that comes to mind is to call some highly placed official either a politician an mp a chief so that they can intervene for you to get out of that situation you know years ago i i was driving from accra when i got to 
uh, in Traban here, the police barrier. Um, there was this guy driving a black golf car who crashed the the tail of my car, you know, and and then created a dent right at the police barrier. So the police went to him and asked why he drove recklessly like that because in the first place that was a police barrier a checkpoint so he needed to slow down so where was he rushing to and more so cause an accident the driver who was having uh, the sticker of a political party at his uh, on his car just came out and insulted the police officer on duty and threatened that he would cause his dismissal because he does the police officer officer knows who he is meanwhile he has committed an offense a police officer comes to him and because he is connected politically he has the 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 the, the poster of a, 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 a political party candidate on his car he was threatening the police officer that i will cause your dismissal you know because he is he has an advantage at that time i mean he was associated to a political party and he felt that it was it was it was to his advantage that you know the police officer could not act and that is what we we do to ourselves in this nation and we destroy this nation but jesus christ who himself was god and could have used his divine nature to his advantage decided to put that divine nature somewhere and then submit himself to the dictate of what the body tells us this is the characteristic of an excellent christian someone who is willing to serve when jesus was faced with this situation where he needed to come down and submit and subject himself to the control of the flesh when he himself is not of the flesh jesus did not use his divinity to his advantage but he humbled himself he needed to do this in order to fulfill his purpose of saving humanity because if he had not humbled himself to save his divine nature would have gotten him out of what the body was telling him and you and i would have missed that opportunity of salvation but because he wanted to be excellent in the assignment he has he has received from the father that is to come and die on the cross and save mankind from the punishment the judgment and the wrath of god he needed to save he needed to put his reputation elsewhere and assume the attitude or the characteristics of service so that his purpose for which reason he came to earth or he came into the human form would be achieved that is the purpose of salvation if you don't fix your purpose ahead of you and you decide to look at the things around you look at your position and the people around you may not be able to serve you cannot develop that attitude of service and so your purpose would also not come to pass my prayer is that you would not focus on those things around so that you can get out of the problem you have the advantage you have what it takes but child of god for you to be excellent in your service for you to achieve your purpose develop the characteristics of service because this is a mark of an excellent christian jesus christ the passage says and being found in appearance as a man he humbled himself he humbled himself you know you see from the passage that uh, the humility we we're talking about he says jesus humbled himself this humility is the ability of one to deliberately reduce himself from a higher point to a lower point just to undertake a task which by his nature he is not supposed to 
or which by his nature is such that he will not or she shouldn't have done it for example you know jesus was god in his divine nature he didn't have to come down to assume humanity or the the, the, the container of a human being but because of his purpose that is to save man because of 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 his of of his target to bring salvation to mankind he deliberately he could have decided no he could have said i will not do it because i am god by my nature but because of you and i because he wanted us to save us he wanted to save us from the wrath and the punishment to come decided that i am consciously deliberately for going my position and assume that position of service that is humility see when we talk about humility it is not when you lack it when you demonstrate humility humility is having all that you have yet you forgo that and decide to serve that is humility there are some people who claim to be humble only when they don't have money only when they are poor only when they are looking for opportunities only when they want some favors from others that is where you see them being humble oh sir oh boss oh yes sir oh master but grant them the opportunity the next day they will be on your neck that is not humility once someone answered you know to know who is humble give him money to know who is humble give him money give him position give him fame give him wealth and you would know whether he is humble or not but jesus christ had the wealth he had the power he had the opportunity he had he had he had a whole divinity to himself yet he put that aside and came down to assume the nature of man you know when he appeared in in the form of a man the scripture says he 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 and being found in the appearance of man he humbled himself he had not only laid aside the symbols of his glory but when he was a man he humbled himself praise the lord you know when jesus was came in the form of man humiliation was a constant characteristics of him as a man he did not aspire to high honest because he himself he was the honor so why would he aspire to honest he submitted himself he humbled himself he did not affect pomp and he did not parade himself as the messiah he did not parade himself as the son of god he did not parade himself as god in human form he did not demand the service of a train of menials he did not require that people come and serve him like the pharisees like most of us because we are the purpose because we are we are nation some some so so and so we are because we are this and that we sit in our throne and we want people to come and serve us but the characteristics of an excellent christian is that person who has the throne who has such honest but he put it somewhere to save just to get a specific task done you know but jesus came down to the lowest conditions of life in the former case according to uh, verse 7 he says that when he became man he emptied himself or laid aside the symbols of his glory now when he was living in his life as a man not only did he forsake the symbols of glory the scripture says he humbled himself he humbled himself remember we are talking about the characteristics of an excellent christian that the excellent christian would always forgo his position would put his his reputation aside and develop the attitude of service if you want to become an excellent christian you must develop the characteristics or the attitude of service if 
Jesus had decided not to humble himself, he would not have gone to the cross to achieve his purpose of salvation. Service is the attitude of people who want to become excellent. Service, the attitude to serve, the characteristics of service is the attitude of those who always want to excel. If you want to excel as a leader, if you want to excel as a Christian, the secret is for you to serve. One of the art characteristics of excellent Christians is that of service because we see that in Jesus Christ. He, he came down to assume human nature so that he would be able to achieve his set target. Paul says that Jesus became obedient to death when he humbled himself. Even death on the cross. You know, what that is to say that though he was God, Jesus Christ was God, appearing in the form of man, a divine person on earth, yet he did not assume and assert the dignity and the prerogatives appropriate to a divine being. But he put himself in the condition of obedience so that he became obedient not even to man but to death my God Jesus was so obedient in his nature as a servant that he would obey death in this passage Paul is using or Paul is personifying death so that death become a personality that issues instructions and Jesus became obedient to the instructions of death service 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 is one enviable characteristics of excellent Christians you can name any Christian who has excelled and you cannot rule out service from his life if you also want to excel and get achieve your vision if you want to excel and get the work done you must become a servant you must become a servant if you always stay in that office the work will not be done and you would fail but when you serve come down to serve humanity come down to serve people excellence will produce the desired result you would achieve your target and your purpose Jesus Christ became obedient even to death he was a being a supreme being a divine nature but he obeyed the laws of death he became obedient to death how many of us are willing to obey death but Jesus Christ became obedient to death. I was watching one documentary and it says that human beings are uh, the only species that spend all their resources to save one another from death. You know, if, if the goat knows that it is going to die, once it dies, all the others will leave him. But, you know, among us in humans, the moment we fall sick, we employ all possible means to get well. But Jesus Christ, knowing there was death coming, he became obedient to the laws and the dictates of death. My prayer is that you would humble yourself and become obedient so you can achieve your purpose. If Jesus had not become obedient to death, he would not have gone to the cross it was such a death as a servant might incur you know to die the death on the cross was not such a death as a servant might incur by crossing a stream or by falling among robbers or by being worn out by toil it was not such as the soldiers meet when he is suddenly cut down 
and covered with glory as he falls but the death jesus died it was the long lingering painful humiliating death of the cross it was the most meanness of death the most disgraceful form of death that a person would be subjected to it it was a kind of death that was given to very hardened criminals and slaves but jesus christ as god submitted himself to death even death on the cross you know many a one would be willing to die if the death was dignified was glorious for example they would say that oh there is this outbreak in this community and we want somebody who would die for to save the community i mean such a person becomes a hero but the death jesus christ was obedient to was not that which would make him a hero he was obedient to the most shameful form of death why because he wanted to achieve his purpose the purpose of salvation so he needed to save child of god i don't know what is ahead of you but you should not look at the people around you you should not look at yourself but humble yourself and get to work and that will bring salvation you know before the gospel came to us here in africa and other places there were some people who could have lived in the comfort of their homes yet they they, they elected themselves as missionaries when they came to africa they died from malaria they died from wild animals yet because they wanted to get the work done they submitted to serve sometimes when they come to us in our homes they assist us with the things we are doing but today many of us christians have become so proud that we are not willing to serve others the same way others served us to bring us salvation but child of god you should remember that god has assigned you a task he said in Matthew chapter 28, 19 to 21, that go ye therefore and preach the gospel. This is the assignment God has assigned every Christian. And no matter your position, you must get down to it. Serve and get it done. Sometimes you have to leave your position. You have to leave your office and go down to the village just to serve them. Become one of them. Live like them to be able to preach to them but today most most of us christians don't want to serve we live in the same church with our friends we live in the same church but we are unwilling to serve each other we come to church with all our positions and credentials run, uh, uh, hanging around our necks but jesus did not boast or did not use his divinity to his advantage he assumed the body or the container of humanity to serve us to be able to achieve his purpose whatever target you have whatever purpose you have whatever assignment you have if you are not willing to serve forget about achieving it if you are not willing to serve forget about achieving it those who have achieved their purpose with that service have done so through a, 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 a manipulation those who have achieved their purpose not going through the process of service have done so because they manipulated others they use force to get the work done but you and i as christians should not manipulate people should not treat people as nobodies but we should get down to the task and save that is only when we can get the work done if you want to become excellent develop the attitude of service jesus christ though god did not use his position to his advantage but he assumed the nature of man and became humble to die on the cross even death on the cross jesus is our perfect example you and i must learn from him by becoming humble and obedient to 
our task you must have the attitude or the characteristics of service because it is one attitude or one uh, 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 cardinal point or one description of an excellent Christian if you want to excel if you want to be known as an excellent Christian look for where service can be found and and live there associate with it if you are head pastor and you always leave your work to your associate to do it trust me they will disappoint you get down to the work and do it the work of evangelism the work of the ministry is not only the work of associate it is for all christians no matter your position no matter your 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 no matter your credential I mean if you are a chief you are a politician whatever no i mean head teacher uh, 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 any any position managing director hr manager whatever if you are if if you want to excel in that office and get the work done to achieve your purpose don't always sit in that air condition and manipulate people by just issuing instruction get down serve the people and that would bring you unusual outcome you would always achieve your result everybody is the is same in the face of god there is no greek there is no jew there is no free there is no bound there is no man there is no woman we are all one there is no discrimination get down to work serve one another jesus said as i have served you by washing your feet do say to others perfect example the characteristics of an excellent christian the lord bless you for watching we'll continue our series next week remember in this month of may we are using the fellowship of excellence activating the supernatural experiences upon our lives so in this month of may we are talking about excellence and we'll continue to talk about excellence until the month is over the lord bless you for watching the Lord keep you and the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. My prayer is that the Lord will touch your heart to live a life of excellence by committing yourself to service. Serve your wife. Yes, you are the man. You are the head. But don't shout on them. Don't shout on your children. Don't be so, so harsh on them. Humble yourself and serve your wife. Serve your children. I mean, you are the wife. You have money. So what? humble yourself you are you are a leader so what humble yourself serve your children let them know you are their mother serve them serve your husband serve your family members serve the people in your church by so doing you can achieve your task you can achieve your purpose in jesus name i pray thanksgiving shall we pray father we thank you for the preaching of your word thank you oh god that you have taught us the characteristics of excellent people that one characteristic of an excellent person is that attitude of service even though he is not duty bound to serve he himself deliberately lays down his uh, 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 position he lays down his credential he lays down his titles and serve because he wants to achieve his purpose we also want to achieve our purpose. We also want to achieve the Great Commission. We also want to achieve the task you have assigned us. Lord, help us to serve. Help us develop that attitude, that characteristics of service, that we serve everybody around us, irrespective of their state, irrespective of who they are. Because if Jesus, a divine being, came down to assume the form of man and served us became obedient even to death lord we have no option help us also to serve one another in jesus name amen i would also like to pray if you have not accepted this jesus jesus this jesus assumed the form of man a divine being he left his position to assume the form of man just to bring salvation to us you don't know this god you have not accepted him as your lord and savior child of god
today he became a servant but tomorrow he will come as the judge and will bring judgment to us but the only way you can escape the punishment from his judgment is to accept him as lord and savior is to acknowledge the work he did on the cross and open up to him and say that lord come into my life i accept you as my lord and savior that is the only solution the scripture says jesus said i am the way the truth and the life no one come to the father except by me my prayer is that today you won't miss this opportunity because you don't know what will happen tonight you don't know what will happen tomorrow accept him today and book your ticket book your place in eternity if you would like to accept jesus as your lord and savior pray this prayer after me say father i thank you for tonight i bless you for this opportunity i acknowledge that i am a sinner it is because of me that you left your divine nature and assumed the nature of man and became obedient you humbled yourself and became obedient to death even death on the cross so that salvation can become available to me lord jesus forgive me my sins wash me with your blood make me your son make me one of your own write my name in the book of life so that when you come for your people i will be one of them thank you for saving me in jesus mighty name i pray amen the lord bless and keep you the lord cause his face to shine towards you the lord be gracious unto you and give you peace stay blessed and have a wonderful evening in jesus name amen <music>